Hi, I'm Audrey Ang. You're listening to Grammar Matters, a series of podcast episodes from the English Language Institute of Singapore. Grammar Matters aims to help listeners become more aware of areas of English language use in Singapore that do not follow standard English conventions and which may be confusing to other speakers of the language. Hello, I'm Paul Doyle. In this episode of Grammar Matters, we're going to focus on group and collective nouns. Let's begin by listening to some people trying to check in at the airport. This line is not moving. I should talk to the airline staffs here. Excuse me, are you a staff here? Yes, I'm Sarah, a member of the ground staff of ABC Airlines. Can I help you? Yes. Why isn't this line moving at all? We want to check in early. I'm sorry, madam. The passenger in front has a lot of tickets. He's checking in the members of his family. They've been waiting a long time. My family has been waiting a long time too. See, my husband and my two children are tired. Ask your staffs to speed up. Let me go and check. They are so slow. Luckily, I know a crew on this flight. He'll look after us. Did you notice the mistakes the passenger made? Instead of saying, I should talk to the airline staff here, the passenger said, I should talk to the airline staffs here. There were two further mistakes. Did you hear them? Well, you'll be able to listen to that conversation again at the end of this episode. You'll hear the correct version so you can check whether you heard all the mistakes. In this episode of Grammar Matters, we're looking at the use of group or collective nouns. These are words that refer to groups of people, such as staff, family, team, crew, and audience. Group nouns can be used with either singular or plural verbs. For example, we can say, the audience is enjoying the concert, or the audience are enjoying the concert. Both are correct. Similarly, we can say, the committee has made a firm decision to host the conference next year, or the committee have made a firm decision to host the conference next year. When we're thinking of a group, as a single unit, we use a singular verb. The singular verb is commonly used when we view the group not as individuals, but as a collective whole. For example, the average Singaporean family lives in an HDB flat. The national football team has represented Singapore on many occasions. In contrast, when we are thinking of a group as a collection of individuals doing something together, we can use a plural verb. The plural verb is commonly used when we refer to a group of people doing things like deciding or hoping or wishing. For example, my family have decided to run every morning in the park to keep fit. The basketball team practice every day. They're hoping to bring home the trophy this year. Now, let's listen to the conversation at the airport one more time. Can you hear the differences between the first version and this one? This line is not moving. I should talk to the airline staff here. Excuse me, are you a member of the staff here? Yes, I'm Sarah, a member of the ground staff of ABC Airlines. Can I help you? Yes. Why isn't this line moving at all? We want to check in early. I'm sorry, madam. The passenger in front has a lot of tickets. He's checking in the members of his family. They've been waiting a long time. My family has been waiting a long time too. See, my husband and my two children are tired. Ask your staff to speed up. Let me go and check. They are so slow. Luckily, I know a member of the crew on this flight. He'll look after us. This Grammar Matters podcast series is brought to you by the English Language Institute of Singapore. We would like to thank the Regional Language Centre of the Southeast Asia Ministers of Education Organisation for allowing the use of material from their Grammar Matters publication. 
Special thanks to Michelle and Su Ling for being our voice talents. To find out more about the Alice podcast, visit go.gov.sg forward slash E-L-I-S podcast. Thank you for listening.